If you have knowledge, you don't have weapons, you don't have land, you don't have wealth. But you will be venerated by society. Even though you don't have weapons, you don't have land, you don't have wealth. If you have weapons, you become king, but you cannot make policy. Policy will have to be made by those with knowledge. If you have wealth, you will acquire status only if you give, if you engage in philanthropy. If you have land, you must produce for the people and not exploit them. So this was it. And if you were for some reason moved out of society as what was called as Shidul Kastri, what is called as Shidul Kastri, your children don't have to be Shidul Kastri. Valmiki came from a Dalit family, he became Marish. Vedavayasaka was born of a, of a fisherwoman. He became Marishi, wrote the Mahabha. The Ramayana is written by son of a Dalit, and uh, Mahabharata is written by son of a fisherwoman. Kalidasa was a hunter, and uh, uh, Vishwamitra was a uh, of Kshatriya parents. He was a Rishi of Rishis. Ravan was a Brahmin, but he broke the law. So he was killed. He was killed by Kshatriya. The Brahmins though, who did not say, oh, hey, this man has killed our own, one of our own. Because he broke the law, he had to be killed, he had to be punished. So that was the system. Today, what is it? All this is gone. The Sanatana Dharma is gone. Why is uh, Julia Roberts coming to India? For mental peace? Why are so many American foreigners flooding our Swamiji's ashram for mental peace. They've got all the money. And they are pouring this money to these sadhus and some people are getting jealous. Oh, in their bedroom they are getting so much money. Why are you jealous? Because uh, somebody wants, somebody in Italy wants a share of that loot. That's the problem. <laughs> but none of Swami is thinking it's entirely 100%. Because the lady in Delhi from Italy, Vishkanya Taraka, she wanted to share the loot. And the royal family of Tibetan said, no, we will never agree. Even in Tirupati, they wanted to gold plate the uh, These Congress members. They appointed one bootlegger who sells liquor as the chairman of the Tirupati uh, Devastanam board. And he said, I'll gold plate it. These Pujaris and these Agama Shastris, they came to me and said, please stop it. So I have to go to court. So I filed a court, court case with petition in Mandra High College, I thought. And notice was said to them. And this man, this uh, chairman of the uh, board, tells me, no, 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 you see. Because uh, one of the arguments I made is that these walls of Tirupati, Tirumala, Sanctum Sanctorum, has many carvings and epigraphs which describe how Nevedium should be prepared, how Lattu should be prepared, all that is written there. What Stoka should chant, uh, chant, chant at what time. I said, all this will be covered up. So in his reply, he says that we have decided to videograph the walls and put it in CD and keep it in the museum. So whoever wants to read the epigraph, can go to the museum. <laughs> so I said, why not also Suprabhatam in a CD and put it in a museum? Why go to Tirupati at all? <laughs> then I found that they were going to hang the gold in boards and they were going to drill 10,000 holes into the walls of the sanctum sector. And such crass attempt because they wanted to collect a lot of gold and in the name of Tirupati. Gold plating, they were going to take all of it. So our temples today, Padmarama temple has 22 billion dollars. Tirupati has only 7 billion dollars. Padmarama temple, only the royal family can donate. Public cannot donate. There is no hundi. In Tirupati, anybody can donate. donate. Even chores can donate. And many of them come in suitcases and put it in the hundi like that. So, Tirupati gets so much money and yet uh, by the donations of the royalty over 500 years, we got 22 billion dollars here and in only 7. That means it is all because Tirupati is run by the government and all 
take it away. Now they are trying to grab it. Earlier on, all the Muthis were being taken to London. So we today are being made to feel that Hinduism is nothing. Hinduism is no past, it's an antique. It's like Greece. It's a civilization which is dying. Now we want to be modern, we must be girl. Now globalization, Audi and uh, Mercedes. All this you can try, but this should not be a sign of your social status. And so the only way for the long run, I'll catch all these people, don't worry about it, I'm not going to let go anybody. <laughs> I have to do it slowly because if I bring everybody at the same time, then in the court you see all these uh, well-heeled people with so much money, they come with 10, 15 lawyers each. And the court is full of lawyers. And we can't proceed. They will raise one objection after another. So let's do it installment by installment. <laughs> like that. And uh, this halal process is better for us. <laughs> so therefore, I say to you, bring back these values. What you and I can do, you can't do anything. Of course, you've got temples now. You've got lovely temples. So many temples in the United States. But you also, to acquire, I have said this before, I'm saying it again, the only way to one single thing if you have to do, learn Sanskrit. If you can't learn, teach your children. For some time to come in India, Hindi will be the language. And Tamil Nadu is now ready to learn Hindi. They all these Dravidian brothers are all failed now. They are on the way out. Dravidian movement. I am not talking about Dravidian means South Indian. I am also a Dravidian. But now they are saying to me that you see when you go to North India you can't get a proper job because we don't understand Hindi. I said but Karnavidi's son, Stalin. What a name, Stalin. You could find a Tamil name. Uh, he sent his two children to DME school. And he learns Hindi there. Kanimori herself told me. She said, my, I asked her, she introduced me to her son one day. I said, what's his name? He said, Aditya. He said, Aditya? That's a Sanskrit name. She said, don't do propaganda with me. I said, but you are doing propaganda outside. How can you have your son's name as Aditya? The Tamil name for it is Kadirovan. So why don't you keep Kadirovan? <laughs> and she said, which school you send him? DAV school. And that is called Arya's Vedic school. They're sending it there. So they want to learn Hindi, but they don't want the masses of Tamil Nadu to learn Hindi. So Hindi will come, Hindi words will become Sanskritized, and a new Hindi will come slowly like Pali was Sanskritized, Sanskritized and made into Sanskrit. The same way Hindi will become in another 50 years Sanskrit, and Sanskrit will come back. Sanskrit is the language of part of the Go to Google, you will find and type artificial intelligence and Sanskrit. You will find an article of NASA Journal of Artificial Intelligence which says, in future, knowledge in the computer will be stored in Sanskrit because that's the most perfect knowledge in this world. <laughs> so, Bush has already announced a scholarship for any college which teaches Sanskrit. We learned about yoga because Jane Fonda was doing yoga. In that time, he said, what is this yoga, all contortion and all that. Now they will learn Sanskrit, then we will learn Sanskrit. <laughs> so you start today, if you can't ask your children to, if your children are grown up, then do your grandchildren. But if you have to do only one thing, learn Sanskrit and everything else will follow. That language is such a language. And once you start to learn, and once you have learned it, it automatically generates the vibrations in your body by which you become a really good Hindu. So the cure is Hindutva or Sanatana Dharma. Hindutva means Hinduness. Even Muslims and Christians can claim that. After all, their DNA is the same as ours. Their ancestors are Hindus. If you don't want to claim your ancestors are Hindus, you go to Pakistan. There you stay there. But if you want to live in India,